Okay, so we are going to walk you guys through how to get on to Seesaw using um, the NCA Cloud and also using their QR code for Seesaw. I'm going to show you um, how to get on their NCA Cloud. First of all, to get into their Chromebook, they should have a little white sticker with their username and password beside of the mouse pad. Um, if they do not have one of those yet, we will get that information to you. Um, so, first, if you want to go to Seesaw through um, the NC Ed Cloud website, then you may have to type in Google or the bar here in C Ed Cloud. Some Chromebooks have been booked mark with that link. You're going to come down here to scan students' QR code. When you click that, you're going to hold up this QR code right here, the small one. And then when you hold it up to your camera, it will go into your child's um, NC Ed Cloud. I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like. It will look a little bit different, um, just so you can see how to access the Clever app. Okay, so this is the Clever app. You should see this when they go into NCI Cloud. When we start it, um, they are going to click on. Um, they will have a thing that pops up and it says enter through Google and that's what they'll enter through. Um, mine looks a little bit different, as I said, but they should see Freckle. They should um see Seesaw and maybe one other thing. They can click on the Seesaw app and then use, um, be able to access Seesaw through there. They will need to get to this eventually because there will be other programs that the teachers may have them get on. That is how you get to um, NC Ed and the Clever app using the small QR code. The next part is if you want to access um, Seesaw, and I'm actually going to log out of mine real quick. I might have to move my bubble here. Okay, sign out. Um, so you can kind of see. Okay, when you go to Seesaw on their Chromebooks, it should already be marked in the um, in Google. Um, or at the bottom of their Chromebook, eventually you'll see the little um, bow that's up here on your screen um, at the bottom for them just to click. They're going to go to I am a student, then um, it will prompt them to scan their QR code, and then they're going to scan this QR code on the big piece of paper. I will say this is probably the easiest way to get into Seesaw right now is to just go to um, the bookmark. Um, spots already and scan this. It should already pop up your students um, Seesaw account because we've already done this part for them. I'm going to show my screen and then Ms. Burrow is going to talk quickly about um, how they're going to see the activities when we start these next week. So let me just go back in. That's where we practiced already, um, posting pictures and using videos. Um, we've already done that with your child. Um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you, and then she's gonna talk. This is what the activities may look like, and they may have to add a response. If they have to add a response, they're gonna click that button, or they're gonna click the plus sign. Okay, so part of their activities next week on Seesaw and during remote learning are going to require them to do um, a couple of different things. One, they may have to take a photo or, um, of something they have drawn or maybe a picture of something in the house. It just depends on what the activity is. Um, this will be the button that they use. There's also a drawing button in case um, we ask them to go on and um, add to something like their picture. There's also a video button if we need them to record responses 
obviously in kindergarten, we do not expect that they can read and tell us everything that is going on. So when you go on to an activity, we are not expecting them to hit the text box and type out a response. When we have activities going in, we are going to have them use this microphone button right here and they are going to be able to record a response that either goes along with an activity that we assigned or they can tell us about what they are working on. When they are complete, they can hit this check button up here. It will come to our inbox. If y'all need a break and you need to stop, hit the draft button. You can go back in and you can work on the activity later. Um, we have practiced going through and deleting things if we need to, using the different icons down at the bottom, changing colors. They're very good at that and they think it's fun. Um, so those are all things that we have worked on. Earlier um, in the Zoom meeting that we aren't able to post because it was too long, we had some people ask some questions that went back to the rapid identity and the, the NCE cloud. Someone asked about Freckle. That is not something that you guys need to worry about right now. We will get to that later. Right now we're just focusing on Seesaw. Make sure that this next week you practice being able to open the computer, shut the computer, make sure you go over the rules of keeping food, drinks, all of that away from the computer. Practice using uppercase and lowercase letters and being able to log into the computer and just being able to find out where Seesaw is on the computer. You will, they will have assignments in their inbox. So we will be posting activities to start next week around eight o'clock. You do not have to be on the computer at eight o'clock. That is just when they will go into your child's inbox. Um, or they might pop up on their home screen. Go to the inbox and click on that day's activity. Follow the directions. They may say things like tap the add button, take a picture, draw, use the microphone to explain your drawing. It will also play the instructions for you guys um, for them to be able to hear it because we don't expect them to be able to read. Also, if they click on their journal, that is a lot of times where you're going to see, they're going to see what they've completed and what has been sent to us. As you can see, we practice taking a picture today and trying to use the tools. Um, real quickly, I will add that a lot of children are having a very difficult time um, using the mouse pad. They're, they're used to touching the screen because of tablets or phones. So really practice using the mouse pad, really practice using the keyboard, um, like Ms. Burroughs said. Um, any other questions that you guys have, you can just dojo up. Us. And then next week we will add some videos of how to do this for a few of the activities and we will have two live Zoom sessions um, for lessons. If you can't get on at the times that we send that out, then they can just watch it at a later time.